Hello everyone! My name is Gandolin, and welcome to another World of Warcraft guide. Today I'll be showing you how to complete the Legion exploration achievement called Broken Isles Pathfinder Part 2. With the release of this achievement in Patch 7.2, it is now possible to unlock flying on the Broken Isles. Let's start with a little background. This is a meta achievement that will unlock Broken Isles flying for your entire account. Originally there were five pieces to this achievement, but since the launch of 7.2, Blizzard has hotfixed two of them out. You no longer have to complete Defender of the Broken Isles, which asks that you do a Legion Invasion in each of the Broken Isles leveling zones. You also don't have to complete Breaching the Tomb, which is the storyline achievement for 7.2. It's also worth mentioning that Breaching the Tomb unlocks over the course of 11 weeks from the date the patch released, so it would have been the biggest hurdle to getting flying. As it currently stands, and I don't expect this to change, Pathfinder Part 2 has three criteria. First is Broken Isles Pathfinder Part 1. If you need help with that one, go check out the video I made that walks you through it. The other two achievements you need are Explore Broken Shore and Legion Fall Commander. So as the name implies, the Explore Broken Shore achievement asks you to explore the Broken Shore. This is pretty easy as you'll be directed to most of the places during the first few story quests. One area that is a little out of the way is Deadwood Landing, which is the island to the west of Deliverance Point. You can occasionally find Legion flying discs scattered around the shore. Clicking on one lets you fly for a short time, which can help you discover new areas without having to run through mobs. Legionfall Commander wants you to reach Revered with the armies of Legionfall, the new faction in 7.2. If you already have Pathfinder Part 1, this will be the biggest piece to work on. So let's talk about the ways you can earn rep. First, there are the story quests from Breaching the Tomb. As I mentioned, a new one is unlocked each week for 11 weeks starting from the patch launch. When this video is posted, everything up to and including Intolerable Infestation should be available. Many of these quests award reputation. Some even award 1500 rep, so make sure you are all caught up with these. Next are Broken Shore World Quests. These award a base of 75 rep each. You can get a little more out of them if you use some reputation buffs, like the ones from the Dark Moon Fair, the one you get during the World Quest bonus event, and the one from the Mage Tower on the Broken Shore. Speaking of the Mage Tower, there are three buildings on the Broken Shore that you can periodically help construct. Contributing to the buildings requires batches of 100 Legion Fall War Supplies, which you can earn from a variety of Broken Shore related activities. Each turn in of War Supplies will give you 150 Legion Fall Rep. The other two buildings on the Broken Shore can also offer some opportunities to earn Rep when they are active. Each time the Command Center is up, there will be a world quest for the new 7.2 dungeon, Cathedral of Eternal Night, which will award 250 rep. It's also worth mentioning that Khadgar will give you the quest Altar of the Aegis, which sends you into the dungeon too. It awards 1000 rep on completion. Each time the Nether Disruptor is up, a world boss will spawn on the shore, along with an associated world quest. Completing the quest will reward 500 rep. Finally, just like with other factions, you can earn insignia for Legion Fall that increase your rep. Class Hall missions often award Legion Fall insignia, which give 250 rep. Some missions even offer two insignia. You can also get a greater Legion Fall insignia from the Kirintor emissary when it's available. One final thing I want to mention with rep is that there will be raid world quests associated with the Tomb of Sargeras that will award 500 rep. But the raid likely won't open until mid to late June. You should be able to get to Revered well before then. With those three achievements complete, you will earn Broken Isles Pathfinder Part 2, and finally be able to fly on the Broken Isles. And let me tell you that being able to fly has reinvigorated the game for me. It's so much easier and more fun to do world quests and emissaries now that I'm not stuck on the ground. And that's it for this video. If this guide helped you, leave a comment down below and give it a big thumbs up. Share this video with your friends and let me know if there's something you need help with. Subscribe to see all of my future videos. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.